So um, it's my pleasure again to introduce Beth Alagas. Beth, did I pronounce your name correctly? You absolutely did. That's like <laughs> our first win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, Beth is a self-taught painter. Uh, she lives in Carmichael. Uh, she favors oil paints and enjoys painting nature-inspired subjects. You know, what is your work like right now? Um, describe it and tell us about where it comes from and how big it is and what mediums you're working with, all of that. Sure, sure. Um, my phone froze for a second, but I think, um, I think I got the question. <laughs> so um, I like, you know, like, like you said in the bio, I'm an abstract painter. Um, I, I'm, you know, really obsessed with color. And so that's where most of my inspiration and um, that's the whole point of my paintings is just um, being in love with color and exploring that and wanting to spend more time with different colors. So right now um, I've been doing, I have a couple of pieces behind me. I've got this one that um, I love dearly, that one, um, you know, a lot of my work is floral inspired recently. So um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's these like gestural strokes um, and there's one that looks like a bouquet kind of up here. But um, I love seeing that the strokes of my brush, um, I like making that in the shape of these big gestural flowers. I've got a whole nother um, very large piece behind me over here mm -hmm. that I don't think you can see particularly well in this light, mm -hmm. but um, that's the one behind me is inspired by um, like a, a garden late at night. So <laughs> this really dark kind of moody um, sort of feeling. Uh, yeah, and I do like painting other subjects in nature too, like sometimes the occasional animal um, or moths and butterflies, but it really kind of revolves around things you would find in the garden. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> did you grow up, you know, out on a farm or where did you grow up? And do you feel like um, your work is influenced by that experience? You know, that's funny. No one's ever asked me that before, but yeah, I did grow up um, in Sonoma County on about eight acres in an oak forest um, and spent a lot of my childhood just climbing around the creeks and climbing trees and um, being a very outdoorsy kind of person. So that's a really interesting um, way of looking at some like old types of inspiration that have been kind of baked in, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you, uh, it, it, when you start out to make a painting, do you use reference materials at all? Or are you just, you know, doing it from memory, making your paintings from memory? I usually use a reference photo. Sometimes it's a picture that I've taken, um, my husband and I do a lot of overlanding. So, you know, taking the truck out into um, big open spaces like Bureau, Bureau of Land Management, BLM land. Hmm. Um, and so there's a lot of beautiful like vistas and really, you know, just fantastic breathtaking scenes out there. So I'll take pictures on those trips and kind of bring it back and do some landscapes based on that. And I'm an avid gardener. So mm -hmm. I was going to uh, ask you that. I, I, I bet you're a gardener. <laughs> I am. I am. I spend a lot of time in the backyard um, gardening. So and I, I've always loved to do that. So I think that's where a lot of that crossover comes from. Mm -hmm. And then of course, like, you know, Recently, I've been trying to, let's see if this makes sense. I've been trying to become a better painter, even though I know I'm an abstract painter. Um, I've been trying to get better by challenging myself to paint things, you know, things. So um, I took a class in still life painting, which was a huge challenge. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll try to work from a reference photo to paint a 
you know, a, a thing, like I, you know, here's something that just is laying around. I've got, I tried to paint a hand and I wanted to get better at, at mm -hmm. um, that focus painting, but still I couldn't, I couldn't just follow the lines of the hand. I can't color in the lines. You know, I think that's, that's one of my, the joyful parts of, of how I paint is I just don't really want to be constrained. So even when I try to paint a specific subject, I still kind of, um, I don't know, push it out into more expressive brush strokes or um, just a little bit more coloring outside of the lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I, I get that. I understand, though, how important it is to learn sort of those basics. You know, it really begins to inform your the abstract work that you do, you know, understanding, um, you know, all the things that, you know, skill that goes into uh, making something look like something, you know, that you're looking at. So um, that's impulse, I think, is really um, important and interesting, you know, to think, think about. Um, so as you've been work working during this time, you know, it, it, luckily, it sounds like you have access and can get out and still be inspired and, and find that um, those images and the, you know, the, the landscape and, and your garden that, that help you, you know, make that new work. But has COVID impacted your work at all? Have you, you know, slowed down, sped up? You know, what, what's it been like working as an artist during this time? You know, yeah, it actually has. Um, I have a teenage daughter. She's in high school now. And so um, I, you know, primarily paint in my home and I had a, a room dedicated to that, but my, my studio is now a classroom. So that's, um, I've had to kind of move my painting space out into another living space in our house. And so even that tiny change has kind of um, shaken things up a little bit. And I found that for a while I just was too distracted or upset. Like I just couldn't really paint. And so I had this funny lull where people were saying, oh my gosh, now that you're at home all the time, are you just painting constantly? And no, I, I couldn't find any kind of creative energy back in March and April. And it really slowed me down. But now it seems like I've, I've come around to painting and drawing almost every day. Uh, so it, it really just um, I've, I've definitely noticed some impacts and I'm just trying to, you know, even just to, I'm trying to paint every day or every other day just to keep with it because I know it's good for me and it makes me feel good. Um, but it hasn't been so easy, you know, it, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, I think, <laughs> um, I, I've, I've been hearing that from quite a few artists that it's, you know, I, I, I think there's this sometimes perception that, you know, artists, um, you know, go into their studios every morning and work all for 10 or 12 hours and, and um, the outside world doesn't affect them. But, you know, it's, it does, you know, for a lot of, a lot of us, it really affects the way that we, um, you know, our energy and, and not only that, it can impact you know, the work itself and change the work. So um, that totally makes sense to me. Well, before we sign off, I just wanted to ask you, you know, um, where people can find you and, um, you know, what you'll be up to in the next few few months. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, I'm, you know, I have a website and I put all of the the goings on <laughs> on there with a the little events page so wherever i am um, i'll put it up there and i'm on instagram as well i'm really terrible at facebook so i'm not there um <laughs> yeah so and I, I it was really a bummer another impact of covid is i i had this fantastic fun community art show that I I had gotten to put paintings up in Burgers and Brew in Midtown hmm. um but I you know I had just did all, done all the work to install everything and then COVID hit and so I, I ended up 
going in there with, you know, a mask on and taking it down after a little while, but that was in March. So I do enjoy putting things up in community spaces. Um, I'm, you know, always looking for other opportunities. Um, so yeah, and when those come up, I definitely post about them. But yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, um, it was really nice speaking with you and getting to know you a little bit better uh, today. And I wish you the best of luck in your work and um, hope that our paths cross at some <laughs> point in the future. All right. Likewise. Thank you. Nice good talking talk. with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>